Welcome! In this video we're going to do a solo playthrough of Warp's Edge, published by Renegade Game Studios. In this game, your goal is to defeat the mothership before you run out of time. Out in a cold vacuum of space, there are no scores in battle, only winners and losers. The game will end either in a decisive victory or a resounding defeat. Uh, to win, if you defeat all sections of the mothership before your final warp ends, you win. Peace is restored to the outer rim. And how to lose. If the final warp ends or your hole meter ever reaches zero, you lose. The enemy fleet overruns the outer rim. Gameplay sequence. We're going to get five tokens. Enemy is going to arrive. We're going to have at least four ships out here. Then the pilot is going to take their actions using our tokens. The enemy will attack the ones that weren't stunned. And then we're going to draw five more tokens, rinse and repeat. If we ever go to draw five tokens that can't, our warp is going to end. And that is going to trigger retrieving all of our tokens, throw in the bag, take all the ships in the line, shuffle, put back on the ship stack. We're going to get some additional skills and advance the warp tracker. For setup, we're going to choose one of the four ships that comes in the base game. I'm going with the one that's on the cover of the box, the Artemis. So we've got a hull of five, five shields. This determines the power tokens we'll be using and which one we're going to start with. We can hold two tokens here on our turn and we can spend one money or energy to bring our shields up by two. And it is nice to do give you the steps on here. So we'll have that set up. Skill cards. Get to take this stack of cards. We're going to draw two. Choose one to keep and then put the other one on the bottom of the stack. All right, we've got loop around. We need to spend an evade token, which actually gets removed from the game because of the red outline. Step four of each turn, you may return to the bag any number of tokens you draw, then draw that number of tokens again. Or split laser, spinning one laser. This card counts as one laser against each target, but cannot stun. This effect lasts until the end of this turn. And I'm gonna to choose to keep that one. No good reason. We'll make sure we have the right power tokens. Now the trays did come with the game. I did not get the upgraded tokens. So what I've done is uh, put some coin protectors around these. These are 25 millimeter. They probably should be a little bit bigger. They're either the right size if you never want to take them out. But uh, if you ever do want to take these out, you're going to rip the tokens apart. So they might be too small size, but they're what I had on hand. Then we're going to take the token bag. We've got our 10 basic tokens. So what we have is three evades with the power of one, three lasers with the power of one, a two power laser, two with a one for energy, and one with a value of two. Place those in the bag along with their yellow one there. So all these have different powers, and we'll go over them once we get them. So the one we are starting with is Enhance. Choose energy or laser, exchange any number of tokens of that type from your pool or tokens of the same type, but the next higher value from the supply. So pretty good token. So we'll shake this up and draw out five for our starting pool. Then the mothership I'm going with, I am going with the easy one. I played this game once and it did not end well for us. So we'll see what happens here on this try. So we've got four warps. It's got three special abilities. Dreaded strength, once one section has been defeated. So we've got three sections here. Um, the other remaining sections each deal one extra damage. So if we blow up one, the other two sections are going to do three damage each. And once two sections have been defeated, attacks from the remaining section deal two extra damage. It's got stun resistance, cannot be stunned by lasers, but can still be stunned by maneuvers. And protected. The mothership cannot attack or be attacked until all enemies from the deck and row have been defeated during the current warp. So it's got six health, or it's going to take six lasers on each side to defeat those sections and eight in the center. And then we've got our rewards here. 
And for the deck setup, we're, we've got three tiers of enemy ships. We're going to take three of the tier three and put four of the tier two on top of that, and then five of the tier one on top of that stack. So we'll go ahead and get that set up now. So we're going to get three of these. Four of these, the tier twos. And then five tier ones. And that's going to be our enemy ships for the game. And we're now ready to get started. So the enemies are going to arrive. So we're getting the top four ships. First one's a stalker, so it's going to take three lasers to defeat. If we defeat it with this side, we're going to get that reward. If we defeat it by evading it, we get that reward. And it's going to do one damage to us. Then an intruder. Viper ship. And venom. So step two, we get to take our actions. So we're going to use a two laser on this one which is enough to defeat it. So we're going to get an evade. And these go into our bag. Since no ship, that goes to our discard. We'll put an evade on this one to get rid of it, getting us a money. Then We'll put an evade on this one, a laser on that one. And then we're going to spend the money. So all these have an energy cost on the bottom. And we'll grab one of those. And I guess I should also mention that if you go with this method, these are not going to fit back in the box the way they should. So that finishes our pallet actions. Now the enemy attacks. Each of these are stunned since we place a token in front of it. So we're going to take the tokens from the bottom to the top. So that counts against their threshold, but they are no longer stunned. We plan. We draw five new tokens. And while we can't look in the bag to see what tokens we have available, we can fill around and go, yes, I have three tokens in the bag, so we can plan our next turn. So ideally, I want to buy at least two more tokens. So that turn is over. Enemy arrivals, gonna fill up these two spots. And we're back to our actions. So this one does have some special text. This enemy deals one damage. If stunned, this enemy deals three damage instead. Well, what we're gonna do, put this on here. So we've got two on the Viper, which is gonna get us a level two. Uh, Laser. And we'll put a laser on this one, which gets us our letter O. And with that symbol, overdrive. Place this token between two adjacent targets. Counts as one maneuver against both targets. When one of those targets is defeated, this token stays with the other target. So it's basically one of these. Well, it does that basically for us. Those get discarded. Put one laser there. Then we have three money, which I think we're going to spend just to get three small lasers. Done with our actions, enemy attacks. This one's stunned, this one is not, so it's doing a damage. So our shield goes down, and every time we take a damage on our shields, we have to remove one of these tokens from the game. And since we've bought plenty of these lasers, we will remove that one. So we go to planning. We should have five more in here. So there's our five tokens, and we've got four more in there. Bring out some new ships. So this one, this enemy cannot be stunned by lasers. 
So I guess we will evade on that one because we don't want to take three hits, that's for sure. We'll put one on that one, two there, which will get us a level one laser. These get discarded. We're gonna buy another baby laser. This thing's attacking, hitting us for one, removed from the game. Let's see, there's four and five and we've got one more. So enemy arrivals. So we're going to play this choosing lasers. We're going to exchange any number of tokens of that type from our pool or tokens in here. So these three level ones become three level twos. We will put this over here, which is going to stun both of those. Put that one there, and four on this one, which will defeat it, getting us a level three laser. So enemy attacks, we've got them all taken care of. Go to plan, but we only have two, so we are done with this warp. So we're going to retrieve all the tokens in play, put them in our bag. the cards in the line and that we've destroyed. Give them a shuffle, place them on top of the stack. We get to go searching for a skill. So perfect plan. Tokens you buy this turn go directly into your pool and ignore all mothership attacks and abilities this turn. That's a keeper. and advance the warp marker. We'll be getting five tokens. And enemy arrivals. So our ship's coming out. These are all gonna be, that guy's back. Not happy to see that. And that one again. So we're gonna put this over here to take care of those two. Then put that there to take care of that one. Actually, we'll go ahead and blow that one up. That's gonna get us one of those. So we can hold two tokens here. We're gonna hold that one. And for one money, we'll get a baby laser. So this thing's shooting us for one. We are going to lose a laser. That moves up. Five new tokens. And a new ship comes out. So since he can't be stunned by lasers, put the maneuver on that one. Four lasers on that one, which will get us a level three laser. And we'll put one there and hold another one. Oh, no, we're not. We want that one stunned too. So for enemy attacks, nothing's happening. Five tokens. Oops. We come out with this, got another Viper. Put a maneuver on this, which will take care of that one. That moves over. This means we pull three tokens out of the bag. 
and put into our pool. Looks like we got four or five in there. We are going to say lasers. All these are getting upgraded. Of course, you can't go any higher than three. So this one's going to become a two. And these twos are going to become threes. So maneuver on this one, which will get us a level two laser. We're going to spend one coin to get two shields back. And I'm loaded up with damage, but I don't want to use them for that ability. But we are killing no matter what we do. I think I'll just let that one come through. So we're gonna blow this one up, which means we throw draw three more tokens. And I've got three tokens in there. We're gonna hold on to those two. We're gonna discard those. We're gonna spin two to grab a maneuver and spin one for a laser that's about to get blown up. Oh, that goes into our pool, our bag. And that should be in our bag too, since we just purchased it. We're gonna get shot by this guy for one. We're gonna lose a baby laser. We're gonna get five tokens. Go one more round. And now our actions. Nope, we're gonna put two damage on this one. Which let's us get one of our O tokens. Put two evade on this one. Get a level two laser. Maneuver on this one, level one money. And that one just to stun that one. So no attacks. Our plans are, we only have three tokens. So we're gonna end our turn or the warp. These get shuffled. And grab two skills. So we gotta choose palm device. Choose one token from your pool and remove it from the game. Gain one token from the supply. Or an asteroid run, draw three tokens from the bag and add them to your pool. That might help us. Move the warp, get five tokens. Some enemy arrivals, the intruder, berserk, so that's one that can't be stunned by lasers. Spider and marauder. So for our actions, we're gonna choose energy Upgrading the one to a two, so we'll just keep that one out. And the two becomes a three. Nope, we're gonna use one of our coins. So we're gonna put that on this. We can use it now or we can save it till later. But we're gonna go ahead and exhaust it using the money. Draw three tokens from the bag and add them to our pool. As 
we need to evade that guy. And we'll put three on that one, which will get us a level one laser. Evade on this one, gets us a level one laser. And one over there just to get him stunned. We've got four money. And I think we're going to spend it all to pick up two maneuvers. No enemy attacks. Five tokens. New turn, new enemy arrivals. I think we're gonna use our six fight on that one. That gets us our R. So that is Retrofit. Activate one skill card. You must use that skill card this turn, so we just don't have to pay its cost. Then we'll maneuver on this one. Gets us an energy. And two maneuvers on that one. Gets us a level two laser. Actually, no, not doing that. We're splitting those up so we don't get hit. So no enemy attacks. Eight or five tokens. I really don't want those. So we're gonna play a maneuver over here and a level one there. Hold on to the three. Spin both of those on another maneuver. They won't be attacking. Don't know if that's the right play or not, but we'll find out. So new arrivals. Let's see, that's the one that if he's damaged, he does more damage to us. All right, so we're gonna put that over there. So that's gonna get three, so get a level two laser and a maneuver. Put that on this one. Gets us a level two laser. And we can outright kill this one. Gets us a level three laser. And blow this one up, which gets us the O. And once again, put that in the wrong spot. That should have went in the bag. So no enemies left. New arrivals. So now we're into the level threes. Enemy cannot be stunned. Goodness. Well, we're gonna take care of that one. Seven damage. And that just lets us take a skill card out of here and gain it. And I'm kind of torn between these, prevent all damage this turn or return three tokens from your discard to the bag. That'll prolong the game. So I think I'm just gonna take that and shuffle all these in. And evade on that one. And the same thing there. So enemy attacks, nothing's going to happen. Everything's stunned. Let's 
Five tokens. We've got about five left. I don't think I'm ready to go after the ship yet, so I'm just going to stall here for a little bit. So we'll play this down here, which is going to put two on that one, which will get us a two money. Put an invade on that one. We'll go ahead and put four fight on this one also. And hold on to that money. So no attacks. So one, two, three, four, and five. And there's two more in the bag. So we're going to activate one of our cards. To return three tokens from your discard to the bag. We'll take three, three damaged ones. We'll go ahead and activate this. So we're prepared to ignore all mothership attacks and abilities this turn. We'll hold on to the two money. So we're at four. We'll take that up to seven damage. Which gets us our W token. So that, draw three tokens from the bag and add them to your pool. And one damage here to get him stunned. So no attacks. One, two, three, four. And five, and we've got one more in the bag. And string from the bag. So I guess we'll go ahead and play that to draw our other token. Well, maybe not. So eight damage on that. We'll finish it off, so we've got a total of nine. That allows us to gain any one token from the supply. And I think we're going to get our power token. Photon Blast, place this token between two adjacent targets. Counts as two lasers against both targets when one of those targets is defeated. Um, no, I think we're just going to go with the three cost laser. Use this to pull three tokens out of our bag. But we've only got two. But now we can attack up here, so eight damage is enough to defeat that, which does allow us to go after token in the supply. Now we'll get the photon blast. Counts as two lasers against both targets. When one of those targets is defeated, it stays with the other target, so it's like overdrive except two lasers. Then we're going to activate our old necklace, ignore all mothership attacks and abilities this turn. Along with, we're going to spin two for another maneuver. So we're getting attacked for six, but we're ignoring all of it. So planning. We've only got one token in here, so ends are warp. So all tokens go back in the bag, except what's in our hold. So I'm feeling pretty good about the next round. As long as we don't get all the nasty ships right off the bat. So shuffle these up. Oh, that is destroyed. And I didn't see anything about that healing in between warps. So 
So grab another skill card. So laser tokens you sign to target this turn counts as double their value. Targets require one less laser to destroy this turn. I like that one. And we're gonna ready these. Our last warp coming up. And five tokens. All right, that's not a good start. So we've got Venom, Star Spike, Stalker, and Apocalypse. So we're going to upgrade all of our money tokens. So we've got a one and two twos, so we're going to end up with a two and two threes. And I think we need three more tokens. So we're going to activate that to draw three tokens from a bag and add them to our pool. So we'll put one over here. Put one on this one, which is going to get us an energy. And that maneuver on those two. I'm going to activate both of those, but not use them this turn. And save that for the next round. So for attacks, these are all taken care of and stunned. We'll start with the evade here, which takes care of that and gets us another evade or maneuver. Yep, we'll put eight on that one. So it takes us up to nine. And we get the token of our choice. We'll go with the Photon Blast and we'll spin one on that one. So no enemy attacks. Five tokens. Got the Viper, Intruder, Enemy cannot be stunned by lasers. So play this over here, it does two damage to each. So that's gonna get us a maneuver. I'll put that one on this one, along with another maneuver. Gets us a level two laser. Another four over here, so that's six laters. That gets us an R. And with our leftover money, we'll activate our necklace. So we've got all those ready to go. Just have a split laser to possibly use. No attacks coming from that guy. And I hope I'm not playing too conservative here. All right, the rest of the ships. The ghost cannot be stunned. And the marauder. So we're gonna put two maneuvers on that, which will take us up to four, so we'll get a three cost money and the power token of our choice. We'll take that one. So we'll evade over here, 
stun on that one and hold on to that three. So for attacks, this one's coming through for two. So we're gonna lose two of those along with two shields. Those were stunned. Bring out five tokens. Enemy arrival. All right. Put a laser between those. So that's eight damage on that one. Let's just get a skill card of our choice. I think we're gonna grab the energy bolts. This card counts as five lasers against one target, but cannot stun. Effect lasts until the end of the turn. I'm gonna grab three tokens out of the bag. So we will put that there, which takes us up to four damage. Five, six. Well, actually, I guess first, before that happens, this one's destroyed, getting us a level one laser. Then we'll put this one up there, get to some maneuver, and three shields, one, two, three. Let's see, two money. We'll go for two tiny lasers and hold on to that. So enemy attacks, taking two damage. Oh, we'll lose those two money. Get five tokens. Bring out our last one. Put three damage on that guy. Go ahead and use that to activate one of our lasers. So this is going to do one laser against each target, but not stun them. So I had to take him up to his four damage. Gets us a level three laser for our bag. And maneuver over there and hold. So end of turn, no damage. Five tokens. Maneuver. Gets three on that, so a level two laser. And our last maneuver. Six damage. We'll blow that section up. Actually, we'll blow this section up. Gets us a level three. Laser for our bag. We'll put a maneuver on that so it's not attacking. Along with one laser. So the enemy attacked, it was stunned because of the maneuver. Five tokens. All right, got the board empty. Five, six, seven damage, and that one's defeated. So needless to say, this playthrough went a lot better than my first play of this game. I wasn't buying enough tokens in the previous run through, playing way too conservatively. So the Artemis was more than enough to take down the dread in this game of Warp's Edge. 
As always, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough, so please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.